Firing a muzzle-loading cannon required the combined efforts of at least five men working in unison. Each man of the crew was given a number, and he would do his task by the numbers. After a gun was fired, the number three men stepped forward to clean the vent and then close it with his thumb, which was protected from heat by a leather thumb stall. The number two men then wormed out any large debris left in the barrel from the previous shot. Note that he did not use his thumbs to grip the tool. If residual gunpowder should explode, this grip allowed the shaft to be blown safely through his fingers. Meanwhile, the number one man would wet the sponge and spin out the excess water before cleaning the barrel of any glowing embers from the previous shot. This was a critical safety step. Number two would then step forward with a dry sponge to remove any water from the tube. All the while, number three kept his thumb on the vent. While the sponging progressed, the number six man prepared the next round and then loaded it in a special leather pouch carried by number five. On the command load, Number five moved forward to the sergeant, who checked that the round was correct. From there, number five went to the muzzle, where he shielded the round with his body from enemy rifle fire. Number two would take the round and carefully load it into the barrel. Number one then stepped up to ram the round down the tube. He would push it gently home first, then give it a sharp tap to seat it properly. Seating the round in the breech had to be done with extreme care. The sergeant then moved in to aim the piece. He would signal number three, who would move the trails left or right using a hand spike. The sergeant adjusted the elevation by himself. With the gun aimed, the sergeant ordered prepare. Number three would prick the powder before taking the friction primer and lanyard from number four. The friction primer sent sparks into the gunpowder when the lanyard was pulled. Number one and number two assumed a lean-back pose and covered one ear. This was deliberate to protect them from the muzzle blast. When the sergeant yelled fire, number four pulled the lanyard and another shell went flying to the enemy. <laughs> 